Hi, this is Steve from Pixel Bump. Welcome to the AE Bootcamp tutorial, No Unmalt or How I Learned to Do Things Without Plugins. Let me just first say I love plugins. I use them all the time. There are a lot of plugins that I use every day and in every project. But, but if you can do an effect without a plugin, you really have a chance to customize the look and make it your own. And the more you can do without plugins, the more invaluable you're going to be to any studio you're in because you'll be able to achieve looks that no one else can. So I'm going to show you three workarounds for commonly used plugins. So Unmalt is really used to take things that have a lot of black in them, like say our reflection layer here from the Unplugged Open, and just keep the bright parts available and alpha out all the black. But there's a way to do that right in After Effects and it's called Shift Channels. What you do is you just drop it on to your layer. You take the alpha from the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, whichever one you like. Now, if I come in and add that right back on top, we're getting the exact same effect and we're keeping the alpha channel. So if we wanna pre-comp this and add effects to it later, we can. So that works really well for anything with a black area you want to remove. Well, what if you have something like a shadow pass and the black area is what you want to keep? Well, if I bring in shift channels and pull it, unfortunately, what we're going to be left with is the white. And that's not what we want. So we'll just grab a couple inverts and fix that problem. We'll just drop an invert before the shift channels and an invert afterwards. And now we've retained only the black information. Now you may be able to want to have this effect quicker and easier by just grabbing the three effects, dragging it to your effects panel, and Adobe will save a preset that you can call the Unmalt Workaround. Right there. So whenever you search, for the Unmalt workaround, there it is, ready to go. You can bring it in, drop it on to this AO pass, and there we go, we have a beautifully composited image, and we didn't have to work with any third-party plugins to do it. The next one I'm gonna show you is how to do radial light. The most popular plugin for this is Shine, and I like Shine a lot, but there are gonna be times where you're at studios where some plugins won't be available, and again, you're just gonna to wanna to know how to get around using them. So the way I do this is kind of old school. I'll duplicate my footage. I'll come in here and I'll rotobezier out the mouth. What we're trying to do is kind of achieve the look of the glowing mouth from that movie, The World's End. If you haven't seen The World's End, please go see it. It's an amazing film. Now that I have this cut out, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pre-comp this to a mouth layer. I'm going to move everything into the composition, leaving me with just my little piece of footage here. Next thing I'm going to do is take a radial blur. Just the standard radial blur that comes with After Effects. I'm going to switch it from a spin to a zoom. I'm going to crank it up pretty high, and I'm going to set the center to the center of the mouth. Pull that out a little more, and now let's add an exposure correction. We'll just crank up our gamma quite a bit till we get a nice bright white. And then we'll take a little bit of a fast blur just to smooth out that graininess. Now if we duplicate it and go into additive mode, we're starting to get a really nice effect. If we want to tint it, we can bring in some of the blue as well. And now we're starting to get a really interesting, beautiful glow coming out of the mouth. You can go in, you can, you can go in, you can adjust the light radius up or down. You can play with the intensity, play with the blur until you have the effect that you want. It's not the exact same as Shine, but it will get the job done if Shine is not available. Finally, let's talk about heat distortion. 
This is another effect that I've been using for a long time. And what I'm gonna do is come in and create a red particle layer. And I'm going to grab my CC particle world. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna turn off a lot of this stuff. I don't want any of these helpers around. And I'm gonna come into my gravity. Let's bring this out a little so we can see what our particle, so we can see what our particles are doing. We'll reverse the gravity so that they go up. And we can move this guy down. And we can change the particle from a line to a faded sphere. Let's bring up the birth rate quite a bit and the longevity, and we'll bring up both the birth size and the death size. Want to keep them pretty big the whole time. Now we'll change these to just be red all the time. Let's duplicate that layer and call this the green particle layer. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna change both of these colors here to green. And down in the extras, we're gonna mess with the random seed until we find something that looks good. Let's bring down the green's birth rate a little bit. I just wanna be able to see both the red and the green at the same time. And that's looking pretty good. Now let's pre-comp these two. Come out here to a frame where we can see the effect and we'll turn that guy off and drop him down. Now we're gonna make an adjustment layer and call this distort. And we're gonna grab our displacement map effect. Now in the displacement map effect, we're gonna to wanna to take the displacement from the particles. We're gonna to wanna to use the red channel and the green channel. And here, as we start to move it up and around, we're going to see we have a really nice distortion effect. Simple, easy, customizable, and again, 100% free. All right, that's looking pretty good. The final thing I'm going to want to do is come in and drop a compound blur onto this. And again, I'm going to want to use the particle layer. Let me reduce that down. Let's turn off stretch map to fit. And again, we're getting a really nice heat distortion with a little bit of blurring. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please join us for the next tutorial on color correction and color matching. Thank you so much. Go and create.